Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you three ways how to make the sock bun. Okay, <clears throat> now with the sock bun, it doesn't matter what you use. You can use a little donut like this. You can use the sock one. Or you can use something like this. And if you recognize this, this is the hot buns one. Um, you just want to, for these hairstyles, you just want to keep it um, closed, buttoned. So if you use this, you just have to keep it buttoned. Today I'm going to be using the donut one. Um, you're going to need a bun maker. You're going to need a brush. Um, and you're going to need, for one of these hairstyles, you're going to need a little elastic, plastic. Um, and you're obviously going to need, for all these ones, your hair in a ponytail. So let's get started. Okay, so the first one is what I call is the roll down method. Now there's two roll down methods, but this one is what just what I call the roll down method. Okay, so you want to start with your hair in a ponytail and you want to take your donut. I'm going to back up a little bit. You want to take your donut, put it around your hair like this, and then you're going to slide it almost all the way up to the top of your hair. Kind of like this, okay? Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to fold all these hairs underneath it. So it's kind of like that, okay? So it's like this. And then you're just going to want to start rolling down and tucking the hairs in at the same time. So as you can see right here, there's some loose hair. So I'm just going to tuck it underneath and roll down. So keep tucking and rolling. There's a mirror right there, so. Just keep tucking and keep rolling until you get the form that you want. So like if you don't like all this right here, just tuck it under and roll. Okay, and there you go. I think this way is really messy and really hard, and I don't like this way. This is not my preferred way. But there you go, there's your first sock button. Okay, the second way is almost similar. But for this one, you're gonna need the little plastic elastic. You're gonna take your bun again, you're gonna put it, your hair through it, and then you're gonna pull it only like halfway up your hair, okay? And then this is when you're gonna um, put your hair all around it so there's hardly any bun showing. There might be a little bun showing, but that's okay, okay? And then you're gonna take your elastic and put it, I'm gonna try to show you this best I can, around your lap bun and let it hold it right there. So now your bun is held in place and there's hair all around it. Now you can fold. Just keep folding the bun down. I think this one makes a way prettier bun. Okay, another thing I forgot to add in the beginning is you're gonna need bobby pins. This is optional. Now, I like the bobby pins that are like this, that are kind of apart. You only need these if you wanna secure your hit, um, bun in place a little bit better. So just take this and just, just, it's right there, and all you have to do is just push it in. Okay, and it'll hold your bun in place a little bit longer. Okay, just put, I just put them all around and then my bun's good to go. This bun, I think, this way, I think makes a way prettier bun than the last way. Okay, now for the last way, you are actually going to need some, what I call, closed bobby pins. Like this, instead of like this. Okay, you're going to need closed bobby pins 
and another little elastic. This makes a very elegant and pretty bun. Although I think this bun, um, this way makes my bun look smaller. So if you're looking for a smaller bun, this is the one to do. So you're gonna take your bun and put it in your hair. Then this is, and this is like the original way that people do it. Then once it's in there, you're just gonna wanna make sure the whole bun is covered by your hair, okay? Like this, okay? Then you're gonna take your little elastic and put it right over the bun. Okay, now if your elastic is too, or if your hair is too thick and the elastic won't fit over it, put a hair tie over it. It'll still work. So it's like this, okay? Okay. So now you're thinking, what do I do with all this? This is where you're gonna start putting the hair around the bun. Just keep, and keep pulling it tight. Put it around the bun and then pin it in place. Okay, now I'm just gonna warn you guys, this bun, this way that I just did it, does not work with people with um, very long hair. Now I'll show you why. The bun's right here, but all this extra hair that you had is now around it, so it really does not look like a good bun, okay? So this style, or this way of a bun, does not work for long hair. Okay, so I'm just gonna give you a little tips on kind of the buns. So this one works for shorter hair, okay? Now, any hairstyle can do this. Curly hair can do it, straight hair can do it, short hair can do it, but your hair has to be at least, like I would say about neck or shoulder short. If it's any shorter than that, you're not gonna be able to do this because you have to have a ponytail. So it has to be at least shoulder length, or at least like your neck length. Um, and like I just said, the way I just showed you, the third way, does not work for long hair. I would do one of the roll down methods for long hair. Um, and yeah, that's all I have. I hope you guys like this and have a good day.